In this video, despite the popularity of the recently released Dragon's Dogma 2, I want to introduce some of the latest must-have mods that make Skyrim stand out even more. Firstly, I'd like to showcase a few mods related to animations, particularly starting with the Dynamic Looting and Harvesting Animations mod. Unlike traditional animation mods, this one features actual objects being held in hand when harvested. For instance, while picking flowers, where other mods would only display a motion, this mod shows the actual flower in hand at the moment of harvesting, enhancing the immersion. Especially when looting Nernroot, you can see the Nernroot in your hand. Or when looting a coin purse, you can see a light tossing motion of the coin purse from your hand, which really makes you feel that Skyrim has evolved. I believe this mod is quite excellent, and wanted to introduce it to you first. Next up is the Have a Bite Auto Eat Food from Barter Menu. This mod allows players to automatically consume food or drinks immediately after purchasing them through the Merchant Menu. It pairs particularly well with meal animation mods and offers various configuration options. For instance, enabling Always Mode will automatically consume any food items bought as soon as the Merchant Menu is opened. Sitting Mode ensures that your character only auto-eats while seated. Additionally, the Dynamic Activation Key allows you to toggle the auto-consume feature according to the situation. Enhance your Skyrim animation mods for a more immersive experience. Next up is Campfire Animations. This mod adds animations when interacting with the Campfire Complete camping system. For instance, when grilling meat over the campfire, an animation displays the meat being skewered on a real stick and cooked. As raw meat turns into cooked meat, the object changes to that of actual cooked meat. Since objects corresponding to each type of food are displayed, it enhances the immersion as if the character is truly cooking food over the campfire. Additionally, the mod introduces various campfire animations, such as adding creations to the fire, further upgrading the immersive experience. Next up is the Dynamic Dodge Shot mod. This mod introduces an evasive maneuver while shooting arrows. You can move left, right, or backward while drawing the bow, and by pressing the right mouse button, you can execute a dodge action. This is particularly beneficial when enemies approach you closely while you're attacking with the bow, as it allows you to shoot an arrow at the enemy while dodging, creating distance once again. Keep in mind that this mod adds a dodge shot, but it's activated by pressing the right mouse button, not the actual dodge key. Also, note that the invincibility period for this dodge is 0.8 seconds. Next up is B1 with the sword. This mode allows players to enhance their attack and defense capabilities through a meditation that unifies them with their sword. Meditating for 10 seconds grants a buff that increases both attack and defense power when fighting with one-handed or two-handed swords for 120 seconds. This mode replaces the meditation animation and includes a feature that displays the last equipped sword or greatsword when using one-handed or two-handed swords. For users with IED, navigate to View Display Manager. View Custom Items to apply the OWS Sword Display preset. Those without IED can install an optional file that utilizes Anim Object. Next up is the Offset Movement Animation. This mode is a Modus Resource Arc Framework that enables movement by blending animations with other existing animations. For example, it can be mixed with animations such as drawing a weapon, combat stance, sneaking, jumping, sitting, and more. Although it has been released for about two months, it possesses quite important features, which is why I am introducing it to you. Currently, it supports features related to Skyrim's Got Talent, allowing you to sit by a campfire and play an instrument. Moreover, it's worth noting that other mods based on this may also be released in the future. Next up is ADXP, MCO Skyrim Hunter Series 2 Bow Animation. This mod allows players to experience attack motions similar to those in the Monster Hunter games when using a bow. Specifically designed to enhance the combat experience for bow hunters, it provides more realistic and dynamic bow shooting animations. The mod includes new features such as rapid consecutive shooting. By using this mod, players can enjoy a more strategic and varied combat style within Skyrim. Some essential mods may be required for installation, which can be checked on the mod page. Additionally, this mod series is continuously being developed and updated, so look forward to future enhancements. In this segment, we're excited to introduce two building-related mods. 
First up is the Skyrim Arena Markarth Side Town. This mod adds a quaint village near Rorikstead and Dragonbridge. Markarth Side boasts eight shops, custom NPCs, barracks, and a player home accessible through a menu system. The player home features all crafting stations, a garden, room for two children, a spouse, and followers. Overall, it's a village similar in size to Rorikstead, offering a delightful city for you to take a break in during your travels. Enhance your Skyrim experience with the diverse offerings of the Skyrim Arena, Markarth Sidetown mod. Next up is Cracked Tusk Keep. This mod is the latest creation by the creator Schlitzor, which not only significantly enhances the visuals of Skyrim's Cracked Tusk Keep, but also adds two new side quests, four new miscellaneous quests, and nine new scenes. Additionally, it includes an option to obtain blade shards for the Past Fragments quest. By improving the fortress and adding quests, it expands your Skyrim content. And since all the quests are voice supported, we recommend giving it a try if you're interested. In this segment, we're excited to introduce some visual-related mods. First up is the Lux Orbis Patch Hub. This mod ensures compatibility between Lux Orbis and hundreds of other popular mods. It automatically detects the mods you have installed via FOMOD and selects the necessary patches without requiring any manual selection from you. Since it's a patch mod, remember to place it at the very bottom of your load order. If you're a regular user of Lux Orbis, this is definitely a mod you'll want to pay attention to. Next up is Extravagant Interior Solitude. This mod enhances the interiors of Skyrim Solitude with more opulence and luxury. Utilizing modified textures from Anti-Star's Clockwork mod, it improves the interiors without affecting the exterior of Solitude. The wood and wallpaper designs are quite elaborate, making it one of my favorite replacer mods. If you're looking to experience a different kind of grandeur within Solitude's interiors, which you may not have encountered before, I recommend giving this mod a try. Next up is Renthal 3111 Art Wooden Chest. This mod transforms the game's wooden chests with a design as shown in the video. Created by the creator I particularly admire, Renthal, this replacer features a medieval RPG-style wooden design and even supports animations when opening and closing. Personally, I consider it the best among wooden chest replacers, which is why I'm excited to share it with you. If you like it, I encourage you to try it out. Thank you for watching in the end. We hope you enjoyed exploring the latest and greatest Skyrim mods with us. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more epic modding content. Stay tuned for our next video, where we'll dive into even more exciting additions to your Skyrim experience. Until then, may your adventures be grand and your loot plentiful. Happy modding, Dragonborns.